This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Today and Views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, we are the ones that have encouraged you all along to like and share them on social media and with all your friends and neighbors. Because Joanne's Nutrition World in Fort Pierce now presents Joanne's World of Nutrition with Joanne Seeger. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's having a fantastic morning. This is so special. I'm kind of feeling a little giddy. Guess who I have in the studio with me this morning? We're pretending we're on vacation this week. My husband, Matthew. Good morning, Matt. How are you this morning? Very good. Thank you. Oh, so we, um, as we announced last week, um, we are being tented. The whole building, Kras Square, is being tented for termites. We are um, blessed with being in this most beautiful historic building, but it is made of wood. And that wood is, uh, you know, especially downtown Fort Pierce, the termites absolutely love to eat it. So we do have to get tented. Um, so we are pretending, I guess, what do you call it, Matt? Staycation, right? Yep. Staycation. We're, <laughs> we're being uh, uh, tourists in our own town. Yes, tourists in our own town. I love it. So, Although um, we haven't done much touring yet. Yeah, well, the beach, which we haven't been to in months and months, so I already went to the beach once, and we're going to go after the radio show. So the topic today is going to discuss why I missed last week. Um, unfortunately, I had to have some dental work done. I had to have a molar removed, which made me decide that today's topic w was going to be oral health, periodontal disease, cavities as much as I can fit into the hour um, but first we must start with breath work and I know one person that is so dedicated to breath work is my husband he never skips a day he's so committed um, actually you do probably three times as much breath work as I do so super proud of that good job honey yay fake clapping Thank you. Thank all right so all right, so um, which um, breath work do you want to do? Do you want to do the five count, the four in, eight out? Like, um, what what count do you want to do? Yeah, the four in, eight out is good. All right, so With no so pause in between. No pause. Okay. So um, so any newbies, welcome to the show. We are always uh, grateful for any time anyone spends listening to us. So we are going to just use our nose only. We're going to breathe in for four, and out for eight. And because it's still a little tough to talk, let's do three rounds to give my mouth a little break. All right, so here we go. Everyone exhale out any stress or drama or anything that doesn't feel right in the body. And the first four will be inhaling through the nostrils. Yep. And then we'll immediately start counting down eight after that. Stand by for, we let it all out. Now in, one, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was giggling a little bit here, my husband breathing so hard next to me. <laughs> that sounded so funny. Oh my gosh. I like to force right. it. Yeah, I know he's yeah. really good. Like and when we're in the sauna and we're doing our breath work together, I look at him sometimes because I, it's like feels like a freight train's next to me. <laughs> this intense <laughs> breathing. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I pass out. Yeah, yep. With the Wim Hof method, not yeah. this method that we just did. This <laughs> method is great for anxiety or when you feel uneasy. Wow. All right. So periodontal disease, oral health, cavities, um, just, you know, I always tell people it's never too late to take care of your teeth. Unfortunately, 
Um, my tooth decay happened when I was young and under the care of my parents, which, um, you know what, youngest of eight, not having much money, they did the best they can, but ooh, lots of cavities happen in there. And so I've tried to make up for that for a long time, but some of my methods did um, not cover the cost of too many sweets, right, honey? But it also blessed me with um, getting to where I am now, because if I hadn't eaten all that sugar and gotten so sick, then I wouldn't be in the field I'm in now, right? So, yeah. yep, some, what is that, uh, sugar lining, silver lining? Oh, my gosh, sugar lining. <laughs> <laughs> you could call it that. I know, right? Oh, my gosh. All right. So the first rule of periodontal health um, is, I think, an obvious to everyone. So I'm just going to get it over with, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you follow the American Dental Association, um, any doctor, they are all going to say that sugar is the number one cause of cavities and dental decay. So I hope there's no confusion with that. But sometimes that's a little easier said than done. So I'm gonna give us other reasons too, just in case the sugar part is a little hard. But keep in mind that now throughout the years, there's a lot of other um, options. Um, so, honey, can you, I'm testing you a little. What is some healthy options of sweeteners that you can think of that we oh. have in our house? Yeah, monk fruit, stevia. In fact, monk fruit was, um, is supposedly one-to-one -one sugar ratio. So you can put exactly the same amount of monk into a recipe as you would sugar. Um, and they're natural and from plants, so it's a lot healthier option. Beautiful, I love that. Um, you know what I also found out when I was doing research for the show, that Manuka honey, which is from New Zealand, which has amazing wound healing effects, also is very safe and does not cause dental decay. But most of the studies kind of topped it at one spoonful. Um, so again, like I've been, not able to chew food so I've been doing a lot of food that I'm not used to so unlike kefir unsweetened kefir you know it's little little what would you call that sour I'm not really sure the right word for that um, flavor but you know if I put a, just a touch of manuka honey not even a spoonful like a quarter full and just swirl it in it made it so much better so you can definitely um, manuka honey and then some other experts do say as long as it's local honey but please make sure the labels not just local it actually is local right because what can be in honey honey that oh my gosh that sounds oh, so funny yeah <laughs> but okay i'm gonna have to call you matthew for the show so it sounds more professional matthew what other things do they put in honey that's not real honey corn syrup that's right high fructose corn syrup Which the is worst like everything thing now. worst thing Ketchup for even. for plaque and dental decay and cavities so that's why it's definitely. important too that to note that you know, sugar is, doesn't mean that sugar, that white table sugar that you're adding to your coffee or something. It's not, we're not identifying that really. It's all the hidden sugars in all of our foods. And then on top of that, all the carbohydrates that turn into sugar. Right. Is I really know. really all the dangerous it is. sugar. There's so much. And uh, that's why I mentioned earlier that, you know, if you find that a little bit difficult to give up all the starch and the refined carbs and the sugar. Um, I will give you some other tricks, but that is the number one thing to focus on is to really uh, cutting down on all sugar sources because the teeth, all your bones, not just your teeth, but all your, your bones in your human body do not like sugar. Okay, so there is one other sweetener that I'll give you a hint in our store, which unfortunately is closed for the first time ever, um, has, it's made in toothpaste, baking sugar, um, mints, gum, mouthwash. Is that enough hints to let you know which one I'm talking about? 
Xylitol. Xylitol. Xylitol, xylitol is amazing. They actually, it's from white birch trees, and they actually have evidence of people using that white birch trees to strengthen their teeth, help um, prevent the bacteria that can um, add to plaque and oral decay, especially periodontal disease and um, tooth decay. And so it comes in mouthwashes, toothpaste, gum, mints, and I think how many servings a day is it that people need to use? Five. Five servings a day, which is really easy with all their products. But you can even just get a bag of xylitol and you can just rinse with that and you can bake with it and you can use it in anything you want. It has a nice, clean, sweet flavor um, and it never bothers my belly like some of the other sweeteners do. And if anyone knows, like I'm not a big fan of stevia. It's just stevia to me has the most bitter aftertaste where xylitol, sweet and smooth and no aftertaste. All right. So grains that is the next thing to be very careful of and the reason why is okay another test honey which what is in grains that um, would promote the demineralization of teeth phytic acid phytic acid all right okay so phytic acid is basically this um, compound that's in grains, beans, nuts, and seed. And phytic acid binds to minerals and makes it not absorbable in the body, um, in the intestinal tract. And that's very dangerous um, because when minerals are already deficient enough in our diets. So if you eat a lot of grains, um, then you are leading yourself to not only a deficiency, but then a demineralization of what already is there. So you got to be really, really careful with grains. Um, there's a lot of arguments about, well, you know, for a longest time, people have been eating grains and they're super healthy, especially what they call the Asian paradox. But we watch the most amazing video if you want to check it out on YouTube it's Dr. Eckberg um, who is a holistic doctor and he explained the whole Asian paradox from beginning to end to modern days and what has happened and our rice is nothing nothing like it used to be so one of the things is that it's all stripped so there's many layers on the rice that when they started transporting it um, as an export in their country they took away the fiber the nutrients all the things that make um, rice healthy they literally took it all away because it would spoil and then they started um, realizing that without those nutrients deficiency like uh, berry berry um, would occur but when they enrich it back they only enrich it back with one or two nutrients um, and so that is still a major deficit so it's just like having starch which we already have too much refined starch in our diet to begin with so oh we have a caller all right so uh, Matt doesn't have a headset on, so I will translate in case Paul has a question for him. Good morning, Paul. How are you? Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Well, that's just a comment. Uh, I was listening to you mention about the xylitol. Yep. Uh, is that the sweetener that's very dangerous for the animals? Uh, yes, that is. Um, well, all like uh, you have see, to, yes, they have that around, and they're going to use it to be careful that you know it's not left somewhere or. Yeah, to yeah. There's others use. that are uh, dangerous as well. Um, it's you find most of the ones that they use in gum are the ones that are very yeah. dangerous for the animals. Um, but yes, xylitol. I mean, I have lots. You know, I I'm a big dog person, um, and so yeah, yeah. I definitely would say. Uh, you know, always, if you're a pet owner, you know, always, like, I keep on the side of my fridge what never to give an animal um, and what to make sure stays safe in the home. So thank you so much, oh. for Paul, for bringing that up. That's a very good idea. Yeah, a lot of people don't, you know, they'll have it. They don't realize some of the things now, you know, because you don't keep up on the, on the current 
events with, with that. So I uh, absolutely I agree. Too, so yeah. That's everything. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for that, Paul. I really appreciate it. And I definitely suggest that people always update themselves every year with the list. Um, it's always free on any Google search where you can print it off and put it in your home where any family member or visitor knows what not to have around your animals. So I love I it. I get a list of fruits that animals can have. There must be 20 fruits on there that you wouldn't even think that to give them. I know, right? It's, it's, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. there's definitely, um, well, you know, my, my, my angel, the one that just passed away last year, she, uh, <laughs> she lived to 17. So I feel like I've done pretty good for <laughs> a dog that's supposed to only live till 12. So, um, mm-hmm. so then again, uh, thank you, Paul. And, um, you have an awesome day. Okay, you too. All right, bye-bye. All right, so in case you didn't hear that, oh, you have a headset on. Look how cute you look. Aw. All right, so. (laughs) All right, so um, one thing um, we want to cover with the xylitol, too, is that it's all these things are not in substitute or giving an excuse to drink, you know, sweet tea all day with xylitol instead of an artificial sweetener or real sugar. Um, These are just to get you through the difficult time of like removing um, all the processed carbs and sugar out of your diet to try to give your body something just to get you through the tough spots, you know, Um, but there's no... um, substitute for eating the real food especially lots and lots of vegetables so um, and speaking of avoiding grains there is one way to have some grains if you feel like you do not want to take them out of your diet Um, it is one of my fret fun well my gosh you can tell it's hard to speak sometimes it's one of my favorite breads matt do you know what is my favorite that i could just wake up to every morning (laughs) Ezekiel. Ezekiel, yeah. So the Ezekiel bread um, is now famous. I mean, many, many years ago, you could only find it in health food stores, but now it's in every store. Sprouted breads are becoming more and more common. And when you sprout a grain or you soak a grain, you do remove the phytic acid. Um, Sometimes um, if someone's looking for a gluten-free option as well, um, the Ezekiel still has gluten in it. So you have to be really careful of that. So that's why we have, Matt and I have decided not to use it anymore. But um, if you still um, want to have a grain in your life and you do not want to have the phytic acid, um, if you go to health food stores, they will not only have the Ezekiel choice, but you can find in their grain section germinated or sprouted grains. Um, And that way, if you do have um, that carb fix, (laughs) I call it, um, then you'll have a healthier option. All right. So... Minerals. I mentioned that you re- you remove the phytic acid from your diet, so you get more minerals, and you don't have demineralization occur. But what is Matthew the most important mineral that you take tons of every day? Magnesium. <laughs> Magnesium. Oh my gosh! With all the customers every day, I think Matthew speaks about magnesium mostly. Um, it's incredible. Now, it is super important. Um, I believe that it's more important than calcium because so many food products are enriched with calcium right now. So you need more magnesium. You don't want to have all this excess calcium, especially the wrong types hanging around uh, causing destruction. So magnesium is wonderful. We promote a lot of magnesium glycinate. Um, But there are a few other good choices as well. Um, But you want to take enough, okay? Minerals take up a lot of space in pills. um, So you definitely want to look into enough um, for your body and your deficiencies. Everyone should individualize their programs, not just do a blanket uh, suggestion off of a bottle. But like, for instance, when Matthew sees Dr. Chris, which he sees him regularly um, for different situations or just... um, um, overall optimum health. Um, how many um, milligrams does he have you on now, Matt? He wants me to take 2,000 milligrams a day, which is tough to get to. Okay. How many are thousand, you at? You're about 1,000 a, a, a day? Something now. 
okay, and yep, and I'm about 800. So it really is, um, and Matt is very loyal and great with pills, but you know, they are larger pills, but there is powder options like Calm. Calm is super famous throughout the country, maybe the world. Um, That's a great um, tea that you can make at night. Um, It does have a little stevia or a plain unsweetened one. Um, to get more magnesium without swallowing more pills. So that is always an option. Which is also the better one at bringing moisture to the ba- to the bowels. That's right. So if you feel like you want to eliminate more or um, you want to be more consistent with your bowel ha- habits because not only is absorption key for helping uh, reverse periodontal disease and having the best oral health, but also detoxifying the body. So one of the biggest detoxification pathways of the body is having a bowel movement. So magnesium is probably, most people are loyal to it because they love that feeling of having to empty their bowels more fully. So, um, But the glycinate's important because it's the only one that passes through the blood-brain barrier. Oh, gosh, I've trained you so well. Wow, okay, so he's right. And um, magnesium, magnesium theonate's also... Um, another one for the brain so you definitely want to enrich your body with all these minerals but magnesium great for the heart great for the brain great for the muscles great for the bowels I mean I can name 300 reasons um, but there's probably more that we don't even know about Um, so you definitely want to take magnesium to help oral health Um, the next thing is um, toothpaste Okay, so some of them, um, you've um, probably seen me, Matt, like, you know, with sometimes baking soda and oils. What are some oils that you could add to baking soda um, as a little toothpaste um, that would help oral health? Uh, myrrh and peppermint. Oh, those are great ones. I love peppermint, right? Everyone that goes in our store knows that I love peppermint, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, um, what what about clove oil? Oh, clove oil, yeah. Clove oil, right? And clove oil, um, I've almost finished a bottle already, right, in the last yep. week. Um, clove oil is phenomenal at also being like a great analgesic. Um, so if you, now in the health food field, it's really popular for killing parasites and helping uh, destroy um, dangerous microbes. But clove oil also has an amazing analgesic numbing effect on the gums. So when you just rub a little, now some people have people chew clove, but I don't know, when you're in the midst of a toothache, the last thing I can imagine chewing is a clove bud, right? But um, clove oil, a little nicer. You drip that right into the area, rub it on. And it's very interesting. A lot of people in the holistic healing field, acupressure, acupuncture, all these people will um, suggest you rub the opposite side. So not where the um, oral um, pain is coming from, the other side which I forgot about during my issues Um, so I kind of really wish um, it makes sense so that whole um, isn't that cool Matt like how you rub the other side of where the pain is to help relieve where the pain is so I kind of wish I remembered that last week but so yeah so you could rub the clove oil if the area is too tender and too inflamed you can rub it on the opposite so the mirror view um, of where the pain's coming from so I thought that was really good all right so (laughs) one of the main reasons I asked Matt to join me on the show today is because like many of my loyal radio show listeners um, we um, talked about oil pulling many 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 years ago and some of you are still doing it every day well Matt is one of those loyal people since we met and since I told him about it he's been doing it every single day so when we come back from break we are going to cover oil pulling and how amazing it is for oral health be right back Hi, this is Joanne from Nutrition World and Wellness Center. I am really excited to introduce new guests and topics to my show every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. here on WPSL, where my listeners can call in on any topic. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find it. 
We want to help you become the best version of yourself. We'll have nature paths, coaches. I am looking forward to sharing my years of experience with my listeners so we can enjoy this life journey together. Visit Joanne's Nutrition World in the Kraft Square, formerly known as the Arcade Building, located at US 1 and Orange Avenue, across from Fort Pierce City Hall. Open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4, Saturdays 10 to 3. Taking appointments for the Wellness Center online at joannesnutritionworld.com or call 772-464-3598. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We now return to Joanne's World of Nutrition, presented by Nutrition World in downtown Fort Pierce. And of course, hosted by the one and only Joanne Seeger. Hi, everyone. Thank you for spending some time with us this morning. We are discussing oral health and how to keep uh, the cavities away, or if you ended up having some dental work, how to keep the pain away, which we'll cover soon. Um, I just want to mention that after the tent is removed, um, we are going to give it a few extra days just to make sure that our space is as healthy as possible. So we will reopen our March 13th, so Monday, March 13th. Um, So normal hours will resume. So if you get anything shipped from us or um, you come on in and you're a local, um, we appreciate you kind of taking this little break with us, and we will see you back next week. All right, so um, we were just talking about, like, two of the major causes of um, dental decay and periodontal disease, and that would be obviously sugar consumption and also phytic acid, which um, comes from mainly grains and some beans and seeds and nuts. Um, So, but there are situations that, um, there are situations that you can, um, do things in case you consume those things um, to get your oral health, um, you know, stay well and avoid cavities. And one of them is oil pulling. Oil pulling has been used traditionally for thousands of years. Uh, It was usually used with sesame seed oil, but in the the near, oh my gosh, um, the recent future, um, oh my gosh, guys, okay, in the recent years... (laughs) Thank you. Um, It has been coconut oil. And my loyal... um, Which tastes by far better, I think. Yeah, right. And you are such a... uh, So loyal to the oil pulling. Um, So can you tell everyone how to do it um, and what you do afterwards? um, So to help um, even advance the effects? Okay. Sure. Yeah, and it, and it actually helps rebuild the, the gums and strengthen the gums, which is actually how it helps your teeth, and it actually does pull bacteria out of the saliva ducts, which is why it's beneficial. But, um, yeah, doing it for 5 to 20 minutes a day is usually what you want to do. Um, so I know, like Dr. Berg, he does it in the shower. So it's when he likes to do it. So I do it in the morning actually uh, right when I wake up and I do it uh, while my uh, water is boiling to get the coffee ready. (laughs) (laughs) So I kind of have that time reference there because I know the water takes about five to seven minutes to boil. So I know I'm doing it for about the right time. And then at the same time, I'm actually jumping on the trampoline and doing all the the You're so dedicated. Oh, so healthy. Exercises that are (laughs) kind of like the um, oh for gosh, the lymphatic system yeah but uh what's it called the three minute workout yeah. oh the, oh yeah the three minute workout yeah. okay yeah th- i do that on the trampoline while i'm oil pulling and then afterwards uh, uh after spitting that out which well definitely make sure everyone knows where to spit oil out yeah, yeah. definitely in the garbage not in your sink for sure yeah, yeah, you don't want to um, clog up any of your pipes, so yeah. garbage pails only. I didn't know that. I was just still putting it in the sink, but 
Joanne told me not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and that's one, yeah, it's definitely will solidify. Yeah. I probably think that's why they did sesame oil, not the coconut oil, because it doesn't have such a viscosity change with temperature oh. like coconut oil does. Wow, didn't I sound so smart just then? Viscosity change, right? Right, all <laughs> like, these big words. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So so tell everyone um, what you do after um, you spit out in the receptacle yeah uh, afterwards I use a little uh, oregano oil or clove oil just to kind of keep the balance and kill anything else that's remaining yeah. that is lingering there yeah because oregano oil is antifungal antiparasitic antibacterial and antiviral yeah right absolutely incredible do you know we ran out of um and that makes you remember to do it every day, right. too. Right. And we ran out of oregano oil as the store is being tented, and we literally feel like lost children. We're like, oh, my gosh, we have no more oregano. Yeah. It's like we're going to fall apart or something. Basically, how I keep it up, too, is I just basically let myself only skip one day. If I skip one day, I force myself to do it the following day. That's the only way to do it. I know. You're so dedicated. I love it. Same it's, thing for yep. the gym. Same thing works out for the gym if you do it all right all right all right let's move on <laughs> let's move on now okay so um so there are other things you can do besides the oil pulling to keep really good oral health um the next one is super silica i've had Bert on my show so many times now so i'm sure all my listeners know what i'm speaking of but super silica is um a bottle of liquid that you put um, about 12 drops into a glass you fill it with water you drink it helps with um, all your connective tissue um, and the mineralization of your body so I think that's self-explanatory um, the next one um, is vitamin A so vitamin A is for your mucous membranes and helping you um, resistance to infection so Think of um, your whole mucosal system in your mouth. It is supposed to have bacteria, but it's supposed to be this beautiful neutral pH with lots of different bacteria that know what their job is. And they know when bad bacteria comes in, it will help destroy it. But if you eat a lot of acidic foods, of course, sugar is the most acidic, even a lot of stress, or prescriptions, um, then you will start destroying um, your neutral pH and the bacterial organisms. So believe it or not, over sterilizing your mouth with all these mouthwashes that are full of chemicals and alcohol um, could hurt your oral health, not improve it, okay? So if you have um, bad breath um, or odor coming, it's n you don't want to just mask it. It's just like putting um, a toxic deodorant in your armpits um, for when you have, um, you know, body odor. You have to get at the cause of it, not destroy the area that's supposed to detox it, okay? So our breath is one of our detoxification pathways, but our odor um, should be neutralized by all the great bacteria that's in there. So the vitamin A is super critical for that mucous membrane. Um, the next one I'm going to have, um, uh, actually, oh, this is my favorite one. All right. So you can talk about this one because <laughs> vitamin K, you oh, want to talk about K. everyone D3 and K? Cause I want to take the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Transporter. Yeah, All right. So. Well, you know what vitamin K does. You don't even have to read my notes. You tell yeah, everyone every yeah. day. Which in, and is K k2 actually not uh k1 yep. which is important to differentiate yeah well all the k's are important but we're going to speak about yeah. right now this morning vitamin k2 yeah because okay. k2 helps the absorption of of vitamin d3 uh and i've actually been increasing my vitamin k to help remove some plaque that i have built up on, on the back of my teeth there okay. uh so you can also use it for that um and that was the angle I wanted you to talk about because now if it removes plaque from teeth, okay, um, is it because, well, everyone thinks that plaque is just bacteria, um, like a biofilm against the um, teeth, but what's covering that bacteria in that biofilm? Calcium. 
calcium, right? So that's making that hard shell. And that's what we don't want in any of parts of our body, not in our arteries, not near our organs, not near our teeth. Yeah. So the vitamin K Because then it's what? really hard to get rid of, too. That's yeah. right. And then what does the vitamin K do? Uh, the vitamin K actually helps prevent that calcium buildup. That's right, because it's the transport um, mechanism. It's basically going to say, listen, you don't belong here. You need to go in here. Um, so really critical that if you're taking D3, to take the K with it, right? Yep. All right, beautiful. All right, the next one um, becoming one of my favorite ones, and it's, it's like one of those things that sometimes you're reminded years and years later that – you got to get back to your foundational items. A lot of this new um, plant material is exciting. Um, they re it really does work, um, but you really want to make sure that you're still getting your foundational items. And this one is definitely one of those fundamental foundational items that you don't want to skip, and that's vitamin C. Now, there is some stores that you will go into and see rows and rows of vitamin C. At my store, you might see five choices because I really try to um, push either liposomal C or food-based vitamin C. I believe to get it as close to nature as possible so the body absorbs it, utilizes all of it as effectively as possible without having any um, downside to the vitamin C okay but without vitamin C you cannot build connective tissue um, your collagen won't be synthesized properly so it's absolutely critical if you want collagen which everyone's thinking collagen now hair skin nails help the wrinkles help the joints but if you don't have enough vitamin C you cannot make collagen and it's really critical for good oral health to have enough vitamin C. I mean, just your immune system alone should motivate you to do vitamin C, but definitely, definitely really critical um, for oral health is vitamin C. All right, the next one is vitamin B1. So if you have restless legs, it is critical that you consider taking B1. So if there is consumption of alcohol, too much sugar, too many carbohydrates, and you have restless legs, then it is very good chance that you're deficient in vitamin B1. Now we do recommend benfotamine, which is a fat soluble form of vitamin B1. Um, really critical for nerve pain, okay, to help keep that um, down and also the cause of some of the situations to begin with. And when I mention when um, they only enrich our grains with a couple um, nutrients, that would be vitamin B1 because they feel like you will die without it, okay? Uh, but the problem is um, that that phytic acid will still uh, make it where it's not absorbable. So B1, definitely, definitely, you want to start taking that one. All right, so there's a product, Matthew, that we gave um, our dogs um, that really changed their health miraculously, especially Sophie, our, our black Labrador. Yeah, um, what was that? She was getting severe dandruff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this completely corrected it because we tried everything else. Right, so what was it? Uh, cod liver oil. Everyone's like on the edge of their seat. Cod <laughs> liver oil, right? So cod liver oil is incredible um, for so many different things. But we were just mentioning about oral health, D3, K, vitamin A, how critical it is. And cod liver oil has a lot of that. So um, if you consume cod liver oil, um, you will get all of those fat-soluble vitamins in its natural form. Okay, so that's one option. And you get your full serving, I think, of A in one shot. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And some people, you know, remember, oh, when Grandma gave me cod liver oil, it tasted so bad, but it's changed. It's much better now. They flavor uh, it now. They flavor <laughs> it. Some Lots of lemon, lots of lemon, some orange. All right, so can you think of, Matthew, another food um, that has the fat-soluble vitamins? Um I'll give you a hint. I put it in my coffee some mornings. 
grass-fed butter. Grass-fed butter. And now it went from only finding that at health food stores to now it's in every store. Grass-fed butter is huge um, because people realize it's different. It's not these tubs of this fake hydrogenated spreads that are toxic and poisonous and have no benefits at all. Um, and grass-fed butter, there, it's nutrient rich. Um, it's super good for you. So please, if you're under any assumption that butter is bad for you, um, all the information's there for you to read. Studies after studies. This is not. Um, this is this is factual. So um, enjoy the butter. Throw it in a little coffee. Um, it makes it feel nice and creamy and rich, and it has all the fat soluble nutrients. So that's a really good one. And what's another food, Matthew, that um, gives people the fat-soluble nutrients? Eggs. Eggs. And what part of the egg? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, the my. Oak. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oak? We need to take a moment. <laughs> Jeez, man. I thought man. it was both. You, you know, you you were gonna you were to gonna get a prize at the end of the show if you, you answered the all the questions only right. If yeah. you, <laughs> only if you make scrambled eggs. Okay, well that's a good that's a good thing to remember. So it's the yolk. Um, so the white okay. is the um, protein. Okay, and the yolk has all the fat soluble vitamins. Okay, and um, you're right. So if you scramble, um, there is this protective mechanism. So if you scramble it, you release um, the, the different nutrients, the other ones. Yeah. So yes. All right. So that's okay. I'll forgive you. It's okay. All right. So the yolk is super good for you. Um, and I always uh, tell people like, you don't have to eat a lot of these things. You know, if you get real food, um, they are dense in these nutrients, but with eggs, you do want to make sure you're buying pasture raised eggs and someone you know i don't know if it's my new york accent or maybe the dental work but someone said did you say pasteurize no pasture raised so the chicken is in their natural um roaming fields and i know it, it can't be like little house in the prairie but it's just as close to nature as possible where they get to run around get the sunshine and that's an example of like how much we need sunshine because sunshine gives us so many different um, chemicals to work with to make nutrients especially the d3 which everyone knows about d3 but also melatonin um, many others i feel like they're going to discover more every single year but same thing with these chickens they need sunshine too to make healthy eggs okay so we need the sunshine they need the sunshine um, so it's a win-win all right, and the next food that gives you all these healthy nutrients that you're the best in the family with consuming, what's that one? Greens. Greens, all right. Give some example of some healthy greens that people might not buy, like besides lettuce. Right, and obviously aside from supplements, like green vibrance. Um, so, well, uh, there's definitely kale, spinach, um, Gosh, what else? I'm trying to blank here. <laughs> arugula. Oh, arugula. Um, yeah. Bib leaf lettuce. Radicchio. Um, escrow. Um, radicchio. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll count radicchio. Yeah, so so just to vary the vegetables, right? Although radicchio is not green. But, but unfortunately, I it. do have to correct you with your first two. So with kale and spinach, those do have um, certain acid components that might make it difficult um, to get the benefits without the negatives of those two vegetables. So you're better off staying away from those two and eating all the other vegetables because there's so many others that you can enjoy um, that have all benefits and no negatives. So there we go. All right, so, oh, we got, we got time left. Good, because we got so many more notes. All right, so here we go. Another question from Matthew. So what part of the body creates B vitamins? Uh, the gut. Oh, you were sneaking and looking at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to get another <laughs> question wrong. Yes, the gut. So the intestinal tract makes a lot of, of our B vitamins, and it is really important 
like we always try to teach people when they come visit us at the store, you have to look at cause, not symptom. So your oral health, your heart health, your bone health, your brain health, all these systems, they might show the effect or the symptom, but it doesn't mean that's where the cause is, okay? So yes, consuming sugar, um, that obviously is going to feed the bad bacteria in your mouth, and that seems very obvious, but there are people that have periodontal disease that have it's not sugar um, that's causing it it's heart health or it's the lack of B vitamins in their gut so remember you need to look at all the systems because the whole body works together as a team okay so if one guy is you know um, is kind of not picking up his end of um, the team work then you know we you all have to come in and you help him out okay so with that it's the gut the gut has to be healthy too to have a healthy mouth mouth so um what is okay i'm not even going to turn the page so you can see you can't see the name what's my favorite gut product that i take every day Ion Gut Support. Yay! Okay, Ion. Um, they changed their name, so now it's just Ion. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, but Ion Gut Health um, is from how many million years? Is it 40 or 60? I think it's 40 million year old soil. 40? Uh, it, yeah, it's millions, lots of millions. Um, so it's terahydrate, and that helps restore the gut um, back to its normal homeostasis. So it's not just feeding a handful of different probiotics. It's basically helping all of the homeostasis in the gut. So it can just resume um, producing all the nutrients that we need um, that we don't so when you give the gut a healthy environment it does everything it was intended to do so if you do just um, certain different probiotics um, it could offset the trillion other probiotics that it needs as well so what we usually suggest, because probiotics are a big business right now, and people love taking them, and now the same doctors that said they didn't exist are telling people to take them. So I would just, you know, change them up. If you really insist on using probiotics in your daily health regimen, change them up all the time. So that way you don't have consistently the same uh, clinical strains of probiotics over and over. You want to vary them. But we have uh, chosen as a family not to use probiotics, and we only use the ION for about two years now. Yeah. Yeah, it's about two years. So, and we feel incredible. Um, you know, definitely feel like it's definitely working. Okay, so um, we have a few minutes left. So, I do want to cover um, a white tongue. So there are a lot of people that uh, cavities aren't um, their issue. It's, um, it's the white thrush tongue. So that's candida. So you definitely want to, I have shows in the past on candida. You definitely want to just um, research that. So if you have a white tongue, you want to research candida, okay? Because it's really critical um, that you... Um, get that under control. The bottom line is, again, getting the starches, the carbohydrates, um, the sugars out of your diet and stop feeding the bad bacteria. All right, so what has saved me this last week? It's the curamin. So I have to spend the last five minutes of the show on curamin and how... <laughs> No one would want to, wanted to have lived with me for the last week if it wasn't for curamin. So the curamin extra strength, which I sell, any, everyone sells it um, throughout the country. It's extremely popular. Um, it's been voted number one pain reliever. Um, so, you know, when the dentist took the tooth out, of course, he said, okay, I'll give you a prescription for pain meds. And I'm like, no, thank you, like I always say. But this pain was even more intense when I had 173 stitches. Um, this was definitely different. It traumatized my, my gum and my 
jaw, obviously, because it was a molar um, that had been sitting happy for so many years. But the curamin really made it manageable. Um, I did have to take a couple every few hours. And like I tell customers, sometimes you got to take 10. Sometimes you have to take one. Everyone's pain is different and what the body is going through is different. But I didn't care about how many I was taking because it's not like ibuprofen. It's not like these toxic, addicting, horrific side effect drugs. It actually has amazing health benefits too. So with every pill, I was like, oh, I'm doing something good for my body. And it never upset my stomach, not once. So I was taking two to three every four hours. And it really made it where I could um, not only pack up the entire store <laughs> um, and get ready for the termite tenting, um, but just survive it and just and sleep well. Um, so I definitely wanna give shout out to Curamin by Terry Naturally. The other thing is Arnica. Um, I did it internally and I also did it externally. Most surgeons do recommend Arnica now, but for anyone that doesn't know about Arnica, you definitely wanna go, whether whether it be a health food store or a drug store, and get some and keep it in your first aid kit. For any, any sudden bruising, trauma to um, any parts of the body, it's incredible. Um, I definitely would suggest it because my previous surgeries and this one, um, you do not get the swelling and the bruising, which is usual and normal um, for, you know, traumatizing uh, the body. Um, so Arnica, definitely want to keep that in your um, first aid kit. The next is the trauma cream, which is comfrey. It's also from Terry Natural because he imports the only one into the United States that has only benefits, no negatives, and it's incredible. It's known as um, not weed or a bone knit. Um, so it actually helps you with your bone healing. Um, very famous in the equestrian world, um, but definitely it's helped so much. And rinsing with lots of salt water. So, you know, always keep Himalayan salt or high quality Celtic salt in your home. Um, because you definitely um, want to rinse that. So, all right, here we go. So, guys, take care of your teeth. There's so much more info, but I think we covered it. And thank you, Matthew, for joining me today. Of course, you're welcome. All right. So, everyone, um, have a great week. I hope you come visit us in the store when we reopen Monday, March 13th. And um, coincidentally, it's my birthday Saturday, so I get to have... I didn't choose this week, the building owner did, but I get to have a nice little mini vacation. So I really appreciate all my listeners and spending some time with us this morning. Have a fantastic week. Keep up the breath work and get in some fresh air. Thank you, Cliff. With archives on YouTube, Joanne's World of Nutrition is heard every Wednesday morning in the 10 o'clock hour on WPSL Port St. Lucie. It's one of the many reasons why we're the talk of the Treasure Coast.